mà chơi ông cô cho The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Ông chủ nhiệm đại học cả một tổ. The court is now back in session. L'audience est reprise. The security guard uh, are instructed to bring the accused to the dock. The president next, the accused uh, can proceed with the reflection of some of the documents related to the reporting forms of S21 uh, to the standing committee, so you can now take the floor. The accused. First, I would like to report about Yi Loi. Had relation to Mien Pan and Pan. Pan. Uh, correction. Pal. This document is found in D32 slash 4. First, I would like to touch upon the ERN 0173. Correction, 044. 044, uh, May the president uh, instructed the court official to project it on the projector so that uh, it can be shown. The president, uh, the court le official is instructed to uh, put that document on the projector. The accused. Before I describe uh, about this, I would like to tell you that uh, the person concerned here is called Yi Loi. Yi Loi's confession. He was the military cadre of division in the east. This confession ha had something to do with uh, the person named Mien. Uh, his name uh, is Chan Chakrai. And Pan, uh, the revolutionary name of Li Pai, the general military staff of uh, the East Zone. And then, so Pan. 
the deputy secretary of Et division one seven zero the reason i would like uh, to emphasize on this is how the confession was uh, recorded and how the report uh, was conducted so on the top left hand side uh, of the page you may see my hand writing this copy is to be sent Cet to Brother Q directly so that Brother can examine at first uh, because I annotated uh, a few points uh, for you to be able to understand with respect. Comprendre. The reason I raised this issue before the chamber because I would like to indicate uh, that uh, the annotation of the confession I had to contact with my superior on a daily basis. And next, to, uh, the next page, uh, which is which is 0175145. Correction, 0173145, still in document D32-4. I would like uh, uh, the court official to only zoom into my annotation written by me. Bra to respectful brother. One, this confession is a base. Ce document, Two, there has been some confusion because the internal cadres, including Brother Sok and Sao, included Brother Sok was the deputy, uh, was the secretary Sok of uh, 170, and then he was suspended. And then the party appointed Brother Sok as the secretary, and then Brother Sao was appointed as a deputy secretary. I would like to repeat, there has been confusions. He uh, included uh, internal cadres and mixed them up with uh, CIA agents and uh, some insiders, des de la CIA enemy. Et, uh, des Three, de we have already asked uh, for the confession to be typed, but it has not been done yet. So this document, uh, the, the genuine communication Donc, to my superior had to be done in this form so that he could be well informed uh, of the situation. I would like to conclude uh, my report concerning this document concerning how the annotation was made. Next, may I be permitted to present document 00204310 until 00210310. This document is hard to read. I requested uh, that the chamber allow the original document in color. The president, uh, the chamber allows such couleur. document to be uh, shown on the projector. La présentation de la version couleur de ce document. The accused, uh, this document uh, indicates uh, how I reported to my superior. The first step was to report to Son Sen. So this is my writing. Dear brother, one, 
the forces uh, reported here were people from sec the 22, including those in the revolutionary line, a rank, and the network of Kok Ming Tang. Number uh, at uh, Piriang 2, the senior forces, the highest uh, forces that implicated was Atom. B. I repeat, uh, the Je highest, répète, uh, uh, the most highest force uh, implicated was Atom. Atom was brother Sid Chai or brother Chai 81. Ou frère 81. Before he Et was uh, arrested, he was the deputy uh, of the arrêté. general staff. Il était, uh, ad il était, uh, Three comrade Yang Si Ping. He said he was the person who uh, followed the revolutionary. Long Mui, alias Chun, told uh, us that uh, he was he was not involved in the CIA. So this is how I reported to my superior concerning the forces from Sector 22 at Pierreang. And I had uh, to report this to him uh, on 11 of, no, sorry, correction, the 15th of October 1977. So this is about uh, the history of the donc, traitorous uh, activity of Long Moi, alias Chun. This document uh, completed on the 2nd of the September 1977. After receiving, having received uh, my document, my superior noted that he looked at his writing. He said that it would be important first. Number two, this guy uh, has a, a network with the Chinese immigrants uh, to be uh, in translation uh, section. Three, I have not read it yet. I would like brother to read uh, it first. So this is the words where my superior referred or uh, sent to brother Paul, and he made uh, such annotation on the 17th of October 1977. I would like to move to the left-hand side of the page on the top. Look at the term. In particular, uh, Q section had to contact the East. So this is the writing of uh, brother Paul. Paul Pot made a decision uh, for brother Q and Sun Sen to contact uh, the East uh, regarding this document. Can we move to the check on the right hand side like a V letter? This is a sign made by Paul Port. So after reading any document, he would then check like, uh, like that. After having received the document, uh, my, uh, my superior, Son Sen, said uh, the document was already sent on the 11th November 1770. So it means he already sent uh, the document to the East already on that uh, date. This document indicates that 
I, the chairman of S21, reported directly to the superior, to Son Sen, and from Son Sen to Pol Pot, then Pol Pot asked Son Sen to contact the East. I would like to conclude my report on this document. The president, the prosecutor, would you like uh, to make any observation? It's simply that uh, we don't have an ERN number for this document. Uh, we don't know where it comes from. Um, it looks like it's contained in a, in a booklet. And, uh, of course, we'd all be interested to find out the source uh, for this document. And if, uh, the, if there is an ERN number or a, a document number, can it be read into the record, please? Okay, look, uh, the president, uh, Judge Kat Wright, uh, you may now Madame read uh, the ERN numbers to the public uh, as referred in the Xilab. Yes, uh, the ERN number uh, that the accused read out, 00204310, produces that um, page in the handwriting as we have seen it um, shown by the court official. It appears to be part of a much longer document, and it's in Khmer, so I can't help you any more than that. Your Honor, just to reply, it seemed that there were two different documents. The first document was the document number that I noted down at the beginning. Um, no, I, I'm sorry, I, I correct myself. The first document was a black and white document, and this colour document, is that the document with the ERN number that, that Your Honour has just read out? No, I was wondering where the original came from, because what is on Xilab is the uh, black and white one, the ERN number. I'm going slowly. The ERN number of which I have given to you. Uh, so we need to find out where the original with the red ink annotations comes from. Yes, please. Thank you. Donc il nous faut savoir quelle est la cote ERN du document en couleur. Alex Bates, oui, en effet, Madame le Juge, merci. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Nous avons une cote D93 bar 3 avec un numéro ERN Khmer 0024 Zero. Zero. En fait, uh, and in ce fact, document en couleur figure in the dans une réponse que l'accusé a fait à une demande de partie civile. Uh, upon a civil et il est coté au dossier dans le cadre de cette réponse in, uh, à la cote D93 bar 3 D93 en chiffre romain. Bon. Non D93 D93 barre de fraction et 3 en chiffre and romain, la cote. Okay, um, please, uh, Judge uh, Lawange. Dois-je comprendre que dans le dossier, uh, à l'origine, il n'y a qu'une version uh, noir et blanc, et que l'accusé a pu répondre à une partie civile en joignant un document en couleur Je ne comprends pas très bien. Oui. Uh, lors d'une audition, uh, le juge Yuboulang uh, uh, a remis cette copie couleur uh, à l'accusé, comme ça se passait souvent 
pendant les instructions où on donnait des documents à l'accusé pour qu'il les commente. Et c'est donc cette copie couleur qui, par la suite, a été utilisée pour répondre à une question posée par une des parties civiles et qui s'est donc trouvée cotée à la D93 barre de fraction 3. Mais à l'origine, c'est monsieur le juge, monsieur le co-juge Yuboulen et, ça, qui a remis cette copie lors d'une séance d'instruction. Uh, next, uh, the accused uh, uh, may uh, present other document in relation to the reporting regime in S21 uh, regarding uh, to the standing committee. Uh, your Honor President, uh, a while ago I reported Monsieur about the documents of S21 reporting to uh, the Standing Company, uh, Standing Committee, and um, the Standing Committee would then forward it to the, the zone and in particularly to the East Zone. Uh, the following, I would like to uh, present another document. Uh, which I reported to the Standing Committee, but uh, the Standing Committee just uh, circulate and uh, make decision amongst uh, the committee. It is uh, number ERN. Uh, 00. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 
he said that he extended to another member named Sieng Ho Long. So the new KGB agent named uh, Sieng Su Long. Uh, respectfully, um, they did the 16th of January 1977. This is my annotation to my superior. When he received this uh, document, he uh, annotated l'a annoté. This indicated that this document was uh, circulated and worked, worked out in the Standing Committee. It is in ERN 0017299, D32 slash 4. Uh, on the top, he said uh, secret. This is my uh, superior uh, right, uh, writing, something. This is a uh, note, right, business. Number one, this document uh, leads us to understand about the infiltration plan, uh, espionage, the building of treacherous force of the recidivism. Uh, number one, this document leads us to understand about the infiltration plan, uh, spy, plus the building of treacherous activity of the recidivism. Number two, uh, you uh, to understand well about the treacherous uh, network, especially about uh, Prasad. Uh, in this case, uh, we uh, pay more attention to uh, the case of uh, Prasid is the brother of uh, Chun Mom. Uh, understood well a number of the assignment treacherous um, network, especially in the case of Prasid. Prasid uh, in the previous case, there was the uh, reply or the response that he uh, recommended the KGB to continue its activity. Uh, based on my opinion, uh, we should uh, pay more attention and we should allow him to uh, work on anything which is not related to the foreigner. Number three, he said that he uh, built up one member, Sien Ho Long, a former economics engineer from the East Germany, and uh, nowadays he was in, he is in the civil aviation uh, sector. Sien Lai Ni was the uh, superior the big superior, who uh, led every activity dated 1977, uh, uh, receiving that uh, document, and he uh, uh, made the annotation and uh, circulate among the standing committee, and um, uh, it was Sun Sen who uh, reported to Pol Pot. Uh, the note, uh, this note of, of Sunsen is to uh, Pol Pot. Um, just for the record and all for the, also for the assistance of all the parties when we come to look back on the transcript, the documents we've, we've now understood the accused to be producing are from document D32, Roman 4. But in that case document, there are over a hundred annexes which refer to individual colour copies of confessions. And for the assistance of your honours and all parties, if the accused can state the number of the annex, this appears to be annex 18 to which he has just referred. Uh, but if we can be precise and specify the, the annex number as well, it would be of great assistance in, in a later stage. Cela serait utile pour l'ensemble des parties, à savoir des 34 annexes 18. Uh, 
Mr. Prince Forward, through the voice you are. Je vous en prie. Alors, j'ai effectivement D32-4, annexe 18. I have the et un numéro de RN pour la version française 00 pour la traduction française. Merci. Uh, the president, the president. Uh, the accused, please continue to present uh, your uh, documents. Uh, Mr. President, the next document uh, just to uh, indicate that I was the one who reported to Son Sen or to Uncle Nguyen. And later to uh, Uncle Nguyen, and he uh, circulated, and uh, the document uh, is uh, D43 slash 4 ERN 00 174 and 100. This document is the confession of a mere uh, alias Kem, a former ambassador of the uh, Cambodia to Laos. This uh, is the title about the, uh, about the uh, history of the uh, uh, treacherous uh, activity. I made the annotation to the upper echelon that respectfully, uh, brother, the, uh, his activity in Laos uh, were two. One, uh, with the imperialists, uh, it connected to uh, the organization of HCR. HCR with in time uh, to solve, uh, to withdraw um, the uh, Cambodian uh, from Laos regarding the, uh, uh, the migrant from Laos. HCR is one part of the UN. Uh, it is the High Commissioner for Refugees. Number two. Uh, with the UN or the Vietnamese, he worked closely with the ambassador of Vietnam named Dinh Nho Liem and the foreign, uh, the, minister, uh, the official of um, foreign affairs of uh, Laos, Puan Chi Si. And uh, the Vietnamese need to use the uh, migrant Cambodian in Laos for their activity. So um, uh, 9 to 78, uh, based on the date, and I took this uh, document to report to uh, Uncle Nguyen. It, it, it was no longer Sun because he left uh, for the battlefield. Uh, his activity in Laos, he wrote from, from uh, 37 onward. This is my annotation. Uh, on the top uh, left, there is uh, a few uh, letters to uh, Comrade Van. This is the, the writing of Nguyen Chia. So uh, my purpose to uh, to tell you about uh, the document, the document is uh, that's all. Uh, there are a number of documents, but I uh, have uh, another document to uh, show. Mr. President, can we note the record for the previous document as Annex 41? Thank you. We've identified that from our database. It's just easier for all parties to have both the ERN number and the annex number. 
I'm sorry, Your Honour. You said the previous document, you said that was Please Annex 18. Do you mean this document that we're looking at now? Yes, I, I is I Annex 43. 40, 41. I'm 41. sorry, I believe the accused could be going on to another document, so I was referring to the document he just mentioned. Thank you. So, if, please, Mr. President, um, the accused could be reminded, or at least his defence counsel could be reminded, to specify the annex number as well as the ERN number. That would be of great assistance to all parties when we come to review this evidence. Thank you. Annex de ce document serait fort utile. Je vous remercie. The president, the president. Uh, uh, there seem to be a inconsistency of how we understood, as I observe. I think uh, the accused have already shown all the ER number, uh, related ER number, or would you like the accused to uh, present the ER number in three languages, including the French, the Khmer, and the English version, before he could uh, proceed? Because uh, he seems uh, to be precise uh, with uh, the ER numbers for all the related documents he presented, and all his words have been well recorded in the transcript, as we believe. President, um, there is no problem with simply referring to ERN numbers when the first page is the, e is the ERN cited by the accused. But if the accused selects an ERN number that is in the middle of the, the group, it's difficult, in fact impossible to find on the Xilab system without the annex number. I hope that translates effectively enough. But the um, donc, annex number is the, the category of documents. I see my friend, my learned friend getting to his feet. Perhaps he, he can add something too. Et sur le point d'intervenir, peut-être pourra-t-il nous éclairer. The president, uh, the defense counsel, you take the floor. Je vous en prie. Selon nous, ce document est en effet à la cote D32, barre de fraction 4, à l'annexe. 41. Pour euh, confirmer ce que dit mon collègue du procureur, il y a, pour un certain nombre de côtes, il y a des, de nombreuses annexes. Et donc, ce document-là est bien à l'annexe 41 de la cote D32, barre de fraction 4. Et Selon notre connaissance, il n'y a pas de traduction ni en anglais ni en français de ce document. Merci. Thank you. The EN numbers raised, then there would be a problem then. De la référence de RN est soulevée. Uh, to clarify, as the defense said, the document was uh, document 43 slash 4, and later on, if the accused intends uh, to refer to the document, could uh, he uh, be instructed to refer to the annex as well? Now we may proceed. La référence d'annexe également. Maintenant, nous pouvons poursuivre. The accused. The next document, le document suivant, did not have my annotation, but uh, there was a Sun Saint's annotation, but it was a document from S21. Document D32 slash 4. D32 barre oblique. E E R N Zero zero one seven two one seven two nine eighty six. I would like to only raise this uh, first page uh, to present to you. Page, the cover. It is about 
the history of a Celui person who entered a free Khmer through Lâm Peng Tong Hiang from 1968. So this is the title of the confession of Mom Wuen, alias Moni, alias Moni, Division 290. The role of Mom Wuen, alias Moni, was in the regiment. Dans le régiment. Uh, uh, correction, uh, company. We would like to also present to you the annotation of my superior concerning the arrest and the arrangement of the tax, uh, which were done by Son Sen. So the management of the security uh, for the military unit uh, at the central office was already stated on the decision of... Uh, the 9th of October 1975. I would like to read the, the annotation of this document to uh, Comrade Tal and Nan, and Nan uh, 27th of October 1977. So, all tax. I had to report uh, to my superior, and the superior then managed uh, the document to be sent to Brother Tal, the secretary of Division 290, and Nat, who was the former chairman of S21. Uh, Nat was removed from S21 to be the assistant to the... Uh, army chief. Assistant au chef so the decision made uh, to de smash people Donc in the division, the central division was done by Son Sen. According to the document dated on the 30th of March 1976, it indicated clearly this matter. The General staff made uh, such a decision. Major a pris cette so S21 reported, Donc, but the general staff made uh, such a decision. Prenez les décisions. Monsieur le Président, Mister ce Hall. document. Mr. President, et est également à la cote D32 bar oblique 4 et c'est l'annexe 9 de cette cote. Annexe 9. Et en fr le numéro ERN français 008998. 9-6-4 Merci. Thank you. The President, the documents related to the reporting regime concerning the uh, operation of uh, F-21 is uh, coming to an end. Uh, but uh, my, uh, our question is that uh, the reporting regime concerning the daily activity or weekly or monthly activity uh, of S21, was there any reporting regime uh, arranged at S21 and reported to the superior if there was, then how was it done? Response. The interrogation task and report uh, about 
the confession extracted through tortures have already been stated. However, the activities in our unit, I did not report in writing to my superior because my superior met me very often. So when I meet, uh, I met him, I would then report about the activities in the unit uh, partially uh, before we came to uh, discuss the matter of uh, security. So the monthly or weekly report uh, was not done uh, on a regular basis. Only when I met him, then I would uh, report to him upon our meeting. That's, that's short. Euh, très régulièrement, très souvent, mon supérieur, que je lui rendais compte de mes activités. Voilà ma réponse euh, en bref. Uh, management structure at S21, you indicated that there was a link of S21 to S24, which was pre-saw. So when the S21 was initially established, was S24 or pre-saw was also included in the S21 plan and by way of copying the structure of M30 or what would it be? Response. First, I would like to emphasize on the M13A and B. First, there was only M13 alone. Then, having noted that I did not want prisoners, sorry, uh, guards who released uh, the prisoners or saw people detained and shackled and smashed. That's why I made a request to establish M13B and it was agreed uh, by one weight and one was fully agreed des, uh, with the request. Fin, bien, but uh, S21 itself S21 was a unit uh, the standing committee of the central committee created uh, and uh, I was the deputy chairman. Before S21 was established, there was M03 uh, supervised by NAD. Then, when NAD left, I did not know whether there was S21. I didn't know. S24, correction of interpreter. Then, during the investigation phase, and after many years passed, I did not even know what S24 were. Then I had to recall to what happened, and based on the document, S21 was recognized by the party. The standing committee only uh, recognized uh, S21 alone, and Hoi attended a meeting, an uh, agriculture meeting, at the uh, uh, on behalf of uh, S21, not S24. So to recall it, Nat wanted uh, the unit to become a big uh, ministry. And uh, S22 was the Khmer prison. S23 was the uh, plantation where fruits were planted. Where, and uh, S24 was Prezor because at that time there was no Chung Aik yet. So I 
have to admit that uh, crimes did not only happen uh, in Phnom Penh, but it happened elsewhere. However, there was only Presaw, which was the S-24. S24. So altogether, uh, NAT unofficially created S24, but it was under my supervision anyway, although I was not asked uh, any knowledge of that, uh, 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 that office. So in a now we move to another uh, facts in relation to uh, Takamau prison and uh, the prison uh, located uh, on the psychiatric uh, hospital at Takamau and you uh, presented some of the details but it was not clear. Uh, question is that uh, did you uh, know the prison at the psychiatric uh, of the Kamau this morning, you said uh, about that prison. So when was it established? Response, uh, Mr. President, uh, M03 or uh, the uh, police office of uh, 703 division, it was located in Takamau. Uh, as I uh, told you, uh, the psychiatric hospital at Takamau and the Takamau uh, plantation and the special prison in it at the Sisawat Red resident for uh, detaining uh, the special uh, pris uh, prisoner in altogether uh, it is called uh, the police office of uh, Division 703. It uh, was created uh, from the beginning uh, regarding uh, Takamau prison. Yes, uh, that's all. Uh, it means that you are not uh, clear about the existence of a uh, Takamau uh, prison. Uh, was it uh, established after the uh, liberation in uh, 1975 or right before that? Uh, response? Takamau was uh, liberated on the 17th of April 1975. It was created about two or three days after the liberation. Uh, let me indicate it that as uh, based on my observation uh, at the uh, military unit uh, 502 uh, 6, uh, 50, their only role is to arrest the former official of Lonol for smashing, uh, especially uh, Division 703, to conduct uh, the church of uh, Sector uh, 23, uh, including uh, Sokbot Jamran, Nupon alias Sok and Sok. Uh, would say so and Bunton uh, were the members. And therefore, the internal purge in the, in the party and in Division uh, 12, uh, uh, it was known as uh, Division 12, uh, right after the uh, 17th April. Uh, in, in the meantime, when uh, the former military official and the former civil servant were arrested to detain in the command. The president, you uh, told us uh, this morning that um, based on your uh, understanding when uh, you are you were dealing with the establishment of S21, and uh, it, was, it is now called Tool Slang Compound. Uh, you uh, believed that those who were detained in the psychiatric uh, hospital, uh, the prison, and there were many prisoners. Uh, is that true, uh, the accused uh, response? I am not clear how many. Uh, but uh, a few of them were brought uh, there for interrogation and later at uh, uh, PJ and uh, PJ was uh, the place where I taught the people to do the interrogation and uh, uh, a large number 
Um, I don't know how many, but I, uh, I did not enter into that prison. Uh, the president um, earlier, you said that uh, about the assignment of your deputy to, to organize and to exhume uh, the asses of the victim uh, before you transfer to the social affair uh, department. My question is that uh, when uh, he did the exhumation uh, for the asses of the victim and to burn out, so uh, did he found uh, many of the victim or how many of them? The accused, um, uh, Mr. President, um, I did not uh, go there. Uh, after two weeks, uh, they reported to me. Uh, uh, they, they report to me that uh, that's all. Only two, only two pits remain and and exhumed. I. I believe at that time, and then I reported to the superior, and I report to the superior uh, brother, um, the place were completely exhumed except the, the two graves, and then it was silent, and during the investigation uh, stage, I uh, recall that, oh, at that time maybe Comrade Ho uh, failed to, to exhume all uh, the pits, and then um, in the document of uh, investigation, investigating church or the prosecution, the, uh, saying that there were marks of crime there, but I can say that I ordered Comrade Hall to do the exhumation, and he did that, and he reported to me. But I uh, do not get uh, the detailed information about how many victims, but uh, from I made the report, and uh, he reported to me it's about half month uh, of uh, work. Uh, the president, uh, you said that uh, 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 there were two uh, remain uh, and exhumed two, two, two pits or two graves. Uh, the, the, the child, per, or the, the accused, uh, it was two, uh, two victims under the under the the, the dike. It's not two, two pits, two dike. Uh, uh, the president, uh, could you? Uh, try to recall uh, the date uh, when you uh, transfer the psychiatric uh, hospital to the uh, Ministry of Social Affairs. Uh, uh, when was that uh, happened? The accused. Uh, I take uh, one date as the basis. It was the 15th. August 1977, uh, as far as I uh, recall, it was the day when Uncle Nguyen uh, came to replace uh, Son Sen to supervise me, and he told me that Son Sen went to the battlefield. And if I take uh, this date as the basis, it, it was a bit earlier than that. It's about four or five months. I'm not clear. It, it was before Son Sen uh, left me. So that's my recollection. Uh, the President, uh, Your Honor, so do you have uh, any question to uh, pose to uh, the accused uh, regarding the facts that we uh, address in this hearing? Please, uh, Your Honor, Judge. Just one final question about Tatmar Prison, please. Uh, I'm not clear. You may have given the answer, but I am not clear. It was originally a psychiatric hospital. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, during 
the neurodamsi and nukrichim it was a son mom psychiatric in london it might be remain a psychiatric hospital it's only in the democracy Democratic Kampuchea, Nat mm -hmm. has uh, turned that into his prison. Yes, that's all I can remember. Is of the 17th of April 1975, is that correct? Uh, uh, this is my analysis and my conclusion. At that time, I was at Om Lang. Uh, this is just my conclusion, my analysis based on the facts uh, remaining in the document that I read. That you don't have personal knowledge, but I would like to ask one more question, please. Do you know what happened to the psychiatric patients at that hospital? No French translation? Um, we don't have the French interpretation? Apparently not. Si je puis me permettre, je, je, je crois qu'on a euh, des difficultés parce que il semble que des questions se soient chevauchées, que des questions n'aient pas été traduites en tous les cas en français. So they Donc, not all je ne sais pas très bien où on en est. Alors, je ne sais pas, est-ce que vous pouvez répéter so peut-être, non pas la dernière, mais la précédente question Repeat, not the last question, but the one before that. Yes, the earlier question that I put to the accused was to ask him if it was correct that Takmar Psychiatric Hospital was taken over as a prison within a few days of the 17th of April 1975. And the accused noting that he had no personal knowledge of that, confirmed that that was his understanding from the documents he's reviewed. My next question is, uh, noting that you have no personal knowledge uh, of the um, uh, first uh, period of the Tecma prison, do you know what happened to the psychiatric patients at that hospital? Uh, your honors, uh, this is uh, also my uh, conclusion and my uh, analysis. The fate of those patients in that uh, psychiatric hospital, I uh, do not know whether they were released uh, or they were smashed at that time. I am not clear. But I would like to give you my analysis in comparison to those who get leprosy. In sector 15, uh, those uh, leprosy people were uh, uh, smashed order to smash, and the upper echelon order to smash all those who get uh, leprosy, so um, um, the, the leper and uh, the victim, um, I'm more than 15% fifteen percent that um, all the patients at psychiatric hospital were, were smashed based on my uh, repeated uh, analysis. Uh, this is, again, my conclusion and my analysis, but I cannot guarantee it is correct or incorrect. Thank you.
que ces informations soient exactes. Je ne peux garantir l'exactitude de ces informations. I now have a, a brief question about the Vietnamese uh, detainees uh, who were brought to Ponya Yat High School, uh, and I refer to ERN 00. 153575, which is the map of the layout of the buildings at S21. You said that the Vietnamese were interrogated to the east, but I did not understand uh, at what part of the site they were uh, held, detained, and interrogated. Can you clarify that, please? Your Honor, I know only the interrogation location I gave uh, house number six for mom night to interrogate uh, the Vietnamese and uh, a studio uh, were installed there and a detention facility it might be in uh, building uh, B, C, D of the of uh, Yat High School I, uh, I don't clear about which one was uh, the one to detain the Vietnamese prisoner. Thank you. I want to turn finally to the uh, fate of the female interrogators who were assigned to interrogate women detainees uh, at uh, S21. Uh, you gave uh, uh, us an organizational plan, uh, 0000, 000, 000 154228. And I think in that plan you listed four women interrogators. Do you recall that? Uh, Your Honor, uh, the uh, female interrogator uh, cadre, there were uh, five of them, but um, when when I prepare the organizational chart, I forget one comrade. It was Comrade Pun. Comrade Pun. Uh, was arrested by S21 smashed because her husband was smashed. Her husband named Meng. And later, S21 uh, received an order to, to smash uh, Comrade Hui, uh, Hui at uh, the rice paddy, Hui Sri, and another. Um, and only three of them remain. Number one, Comrade Mott. Comrade Mott. Uh, number two, uh, Comrade Ni, the wife two, of uh, uh, Comrade Pon. And Mott was the wife of Hor. Uh, before, I'm um, sorry. Before Mott uh, married to her, uh, Comrade Mott was the uh, cadre of the uh, battalion of the Taylor unit, uh, showing unit, interpreter correction. Uh, when uh, she was sent to uh, S21, I assigned her to be the chief of the uh, squad in charge of um, interrogating uh, female prisoner at that time. Hall was all also there. And another one, uh, Comrade Ni, the wife of uh, Comrade Pon. Uh, 
and uh, both of me and Pon uh, was still uh, were still survived there. And now the uh, one was Comrade Ron. Uh, she was not uh, survived because of Tro, but Tro was survived because of uh, Ron because uh, she have a an uncle of uh, sector 31 of the West Zone. Uh, her uncle was a big man uh, from uh, PM. His name was Jim. He's from uh, Kampung Tralai of Kampung Chnang. And uh, until the 7th of January 1979, uh, only three female interrogators uh, were still alive. Summary, uh, wives of trusted uh, cadres were selected to be interrogators, uh, but when their husbands were no longer trusted and were themselves detained, the wives were also detained and smashed. Is that the summary? Uh, Your Honor, uh, Mr. President, this is the true uh, the regime of smash. When the vérité. husband is smash, the si wife uh, would écrasé, end up the same. La femme est aussi of, uh, bringing two truckloads of teenagers and children from Kampong Chenang uh, to supplement the staff at S21. Uh, you said that some of those were assigned to be messengers, but that was only about five of them. What did the other children or teenagers do at S21? The accused, uh, your honors, uh, five of them were assigned to work uh, in S21, S were all not from Kampong Chenang. The messenger of Nun Hoi uh, from Sector 25 from Saang got home. Comrade Ta, the messenger of Ho, uh, was also from Saang got home. Uh, another uh, Mui, my uh, messenger, lost one hand is from uh, uh, 703. Uh, my only messenger who were uh, selected from among the children and used from Pung Chinang was Kamrat Tan. He was from uh, Pung Chinang from Sector 31 and Kamrat Chen. Chen uh, was from Om Lang, from Tropeng Traub. I selected him since 1973. Uh, these are the situation of the five messengers um, of uh, uh, the three of us, uh, my, myself, uh, Nun Hoi, and uh, Ho. I selected three of them who were from Kampung Chenang. First, I selected Kamrat Sam, uh, the children from Kampung Chenang, but I observed that he, is not, uh, he was not qualified to be trusted. And then I transferred to Kamrat Ho to educate so that he can be a god. And then I selected another one. Uh, name, uh, his name was Kamrat Mao. And then uh, when I found he is not qualified, I uh, forwarded to Ho. And finally, I select uh, uh, Kamrat Tan. And uh, three messengers from Kampong Chenang, only one, only Tan, remain my messenger. Uh, uh, these are the people from Kampong Chenang, and only three of these people, and another one who met me at some load, uh, Kamrat Tui. Uh, he told me that he he was he was the children to collect the um, morning glory to feed the rabbit, and there were sixty of them, about uh, twelve years old, and uh, to uh, the youth or teenager who is uh, from seventeen. Uh, 
uh, or below 17, but I don't know the name of other uh, people. But I uh, would like to uh, tell you that among the 60 uh, people from Kampung Chenang uh, uh, were the same as people from Om Lang. Uh, no one uh, can uh, arrest or or do any hurt to them because they were Personne from ne, uh, ne their uh, good class of the uh, society. Uh, the class protected them at the time. De That's de all I can say. So, so in summary, most of those children and teenagers so from Kampong Chnan uh, worked looking for morning glory to feed the rabbits. One or two were messengers, uh, and uh, that's what they did for the whole time they were at S21. Is that correct? Response. The work to look for water, uh, morning glory to feed the, the rabbit is part of the task, and I am not sure to uh, of that uh, task. But as I told you, Doi approached me in some load and said that he was the former uh, child uh, who worked uh, to look for the water or morning glory to feed uh, the rabbit. So there were only some of them who worked in uh, that uh, section to uh, look for mo or morning glory to feed the, the rabbits, but uh, I don't know the other. But uh, these people could not uh, be arrested for any offenses, and no one could report uh, them to be re uh, arrested because of uh, their good uh, class nature. Les interprètes regrettent, ils n'ont pas entendu la question. Response, uh, I'm not réponse, sure. Je ne suis pas sûr. Uh, for the benefit of the French speakers, my question was, did any of those children or teenagers work as inside or outside guards? And the accused says he's not sure. Thank you. I have no other questions. Je voudrais revenir un petit peu sur les conditions dans lesquelles a été créé S21. Si j'ai bien compris, S21, le personnel d'S21 a été constitué d'une part à partir d'éléments de la 703e division, ainsi que d'éléments venant de M13, mais aussi, si j'ai bien compris, des personnes qui avaient travaillé à Phnom Penh avant la chute de Phnom Penh et qui auraient servi d'agents de renseignement. Est-ce exact ou non As intelligence agents, is this so or not? Response. The translation in Khmer, it said the the spies, which mean in, uh, intelligence agent. I think it is not correct in the term of uh, your question, I, because uh, you may repeat your question and I try to listen into French. J'espère surtout que ma question sera correctement traduite en cambodgien. La question que je vous posais concernait 
les, euh, le personnel de S21 quand il a été créé, à partir de quels éléments a été constitué le personnel de S21 si j'ai bien compris, une partie du personnel venait de la 703e division. Une autre, une autre partie venait de M13. Mais il m'a semblé aussi comprendre qu'une partie du personnel provenait de personnes du parti qui avaient travaillé à Phnom Penh, avant la chute de Phnom Penh, et qui, par la suite, avait fourni des renseignements. Voilà. Alors, est-ce que vous avez compris ma question Est-ce que vous pouvez y répondre Réponse Your conclusion and your questioning are correct. Vos questions et vos conclusions sont exactes. The S21 forces made Le up of uh, forces from Division 703. De la div la 703e division. There were a lot of them. Ces, ces éléments étaient nombreux. And there are other small forces from the Phnom Penh, from the city and from M13. De Phnom Penh et quelques éléments qui venaient de M13. And later on, there were more. Par la suite. Uh, young people from Kampong Chenang. Jeunes qui sont venus de Kampong Chenang. All together, your question is correct. En tout, votre question est exacte. Alors, Judge on sait, vous avez Then, expliqué tout à l'heure, qu'un certain nombre de membres du personnel de S21 ont été victimes de purges. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si, parmi ces trois composantes, toutes ont été victimes de purges, est-ce que ces purges ont plutôt touché les éléments de la 703e division, de M13, ou, j'aurais envie d'appeler peut-être les agents de la ville From, uh, was it more directed de towards Pen Pen. the M13 uh, staff members or was it more directed towards that, what I would call the city agents uh, from Phnom Penh? Uh, yes, uh, the purge conducted uh, at S21 unit affected only The forces from Division 703 exclusively. De la 703e division, et ce de façon exclusive. And people from Phnom Penh. Et les There was only de one person left, uh, pe uh, people from de Phnom, Phnom Penh, Penh uh, from the il city. Il n'en restait qu'une seule, il n'en restait qu'une personne de la ville. I am Mike Bo. As for people from M13 were not affected and so were people from Kampong Chenang. The President, uh, the Chamber would like President, to adjourn for 20 minutes. Je vais faire une pause de 20 minutes and uh, resume et nous reprendrons les débats donc dans 20 minutes